Okay, so we're on, I think. Welcome to um, the very exclusive Leaves of Yesteryear uh, listening party. A few days before we released our first album in 14 years. Uh, here is me, Kjetil Norhus, and Stein Rogo, Soran. Uh, we just basically go, go and play you the album and maybe do some introductions and uh, commenting uh, on, uh, on all, the, all the songs. Um, and maybe, maybe to introduce the album, Stain, um, like it's, it's 14 years since the last recording with yeah. new music for Green Carnation. Yeah. Yeah. Did you expect that in 2006 that we were going to come back 14 years later? No, no uh, absolutely not. Um, it was kind of like a, a bit harsh breakup in 2006. Uh, but, you know, 14 years older and um, wiser, wiser, hopefully, hopefully, yeah. <laughs> uh, and we had such a good uh, run with uh, the Light of Day uh, re reunion, uh, 15 years uh, anniversary. So, you know, I think it was t the timing was right. And we had some ideas of uh, what we wanted to do if we were to do something new. Mm. And then we just started working with the possible idea that we could, yeah, go in the studio again and see if there's something left in us. And, um, and, and before we, and even I think after we recorded the album, we still didn't have any, you know, kind of like uh, labels and stuff like that to help us out. Mm -hmm. That was maybe yeah, in, in the process of recording. Absolutely. When we went to the studio, we didn't quite know what to do. No. We just knew that we're going to have an album and just see what's, what's coming out of it. And, um, and, ho and luckily, uh, Seasons uh, liked the songs and, uh, and, uh, and uh, here we are. Here we are. And on Friday, it's going to be out um, on your streaming services and stuff. Yeah. And, uh, we're here, by the way, in Glasbua Studios, in the middle of Kristiansand, Norway. Uh, enjoy that. We we work together with these, these guys for the Light of Day, uh, for the Last Day of Darkness movie and and the concert yeah. film. Yeah. Um, so we're on on known territory, but oh, maybe it's a little bit of an anticlimax because people would have heard the first song, I guess. But uh, Leaves of Yesteryear, uh, the title track. <clears throat> I think we're just gonna play through that one and uh, enjoy it and we we'll got to talk a little bit about the songs afterwards yeah
could say that this is the hook for that song, you know? Bam, 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 bam. Well, because it it's, all, it's also the chorus. Yeah. Mine over matter. Mm, it is. Yeah. But this, this was, um, I remember when we worked on that song, it's, um, I think, I, I kind of, I think that this song includes so many elements of, of green carnation from mm. 2001 to 2020. Yeah, yeah. And for me, when I've been doing interviews for this album, uh, I've been also saying that that's kind of what we wanted on this album because being away from each other for, for at least 10 years and having been so, um, so much like from album to album uh, in the early 2000s, we were kind of constantly on the search for something. Yeah. Like every album is so different from, from the last one. Yeah. And, and I've been saying that like we were trying to, like we've done live as well, we're trying to, to see what is, what is Green Carnation? Yeah. What, what, what makes us stand out from other, other bands and stuff? Yeah. <clears throat> and um, uh, so, so we've been trying also live to, to, um, to enlighten the, what we're doing uh, that's like typical us. Yeah, yeah. So, absolutely. and I think also with the, with the albums we recorded from 2001 until 2006, uh, we, we found something in each mm -hmm. album that's very typical of reincarnation, and, yeah. and we tried to merge this, all these things into, yeah. into this new album. But the, the next song is Sentinels, and that's got a kind of a, a long history within the band because yeah. we've been playing different versions of that live since 2017. Yeah, and even yeah, have, and and yeah. even like in the studio, it still sounds like. Uh, it would be fun actually to go on YouTube yeah. and, and, and check out how it actually <laughs> sounded uh, three yeah. years ago. You know, we have, I think, you know, with all the different versions we have of Sentinels, also like uh, with, with, the, with the Leaves of Yesterday, I think we're about from 12 to 15 different versions of the songs yeah. uh, on the new album. Yeah. Just to tweak, you know, to find the, the right feel and the right tempo, the right stuff. And also on... Uh, on um, on Sentinels, we did uh, a lot of changes in the studio. Yeah, like the verse, for example. After especially. fifteen versions, we yeah, the verse <laughs> and and the 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 uh, uh, I don't know if ever, everybody knows this, but um, Eurovision Song Contest uh, uh, trick in the end. Yeah, yeah, the modula modulation <laughs> yeah. Uh, part. I mean, that, you know? That's never been in in any of the live. Uh, no, 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 it hasn't. And, it, and we, I, I don't think we have done it with reincarnation before because it's kind of, it sits a, a, li a bit deep to do it because che it's 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 quite cheesy, right? Yeah, it is, it yeah. is. And and but it's if you, if it's done right, it's prog, you know. If you if you do it, you yeah. know. Yeah. It, it's not like we're doing. Uh, um, it's 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 in the middle of the chorus. It's not like a new chorus. No. It's just. It's actually at the end of the chorus, yeah. and then um, um, uh, half note, uh, half step up, and then um, the, it just combines the melody because we sing the note uh, mm. almost the same as we had done without the modulation. Yeah. So the, the the melody is pretty much the same. Mm. But I remember in the studio we were thinking, "Oh my God, is this?" <laughs> yeah. And then uh, and then all my old rush and uh, you know yes stuff you know it blends with uh, something in me and then i thought mr hirkesola you're a fucking genius <laughs> i remember I when when we were uh, going to the studio to listen to the mix and stuff yeah um not everybody had heard that no 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 i remember and uh, I think everybody was looking at short and like yeah but he liked it yeah <laughs> how's his reaction is it gonna kill us yeah yeah, so, so that's um, song number two will be uh, Sentinels. I don't know um, if we've said the basic stuff about Sentinels. It's, we, it's we, we did that, yeah, we did that live uh, a few times. Uh, every time a different version. Yeah. So we, this is kind of like what we landed on. Yeah. yeah. So we'll play Sentinels, which used to be called Sentinels of Chaos. But uh, then yeah. when, when we went through the titles of all the... Yeah. Hounds used to be called Hounds of Existence. Yeah, and, and we did. We, we couldn't. We couldn't have an album with off. something off something uh, in That's all the right. titles. And our uh, drummer calls this song "Sentimental Chaos." So that was yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's a, that's a, that was the working title. Actually. Yeah, it was. Yeah. 
So here's uh, Sentinels.
Sentinels. That was Sentinels. Um, we we actually did a did a premiere, a world premiere yesterday on uh, on at least my favorite program on uh, national radio in Norway, Stjernepuse. Yeah. Uh, it was well at the home office, and I just you know had a program on the radio, and just tried to kind of just listen to it as as it. I, I wouldn't know it was us, but I, yeah. I, I didn't. I didn't manage. No, no. So that was a nice thing. It's. Uh, uh, I can tell you this. Green Carnation is not a radio band. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> but I remember when when um, we, we were on top of some U.S. independent radio lists with uh, Light Today of Darkness. Okay. Because a few student radios. Yeah. Had yeah. played the entire thing. Yeah. Which yeah. was which obviously is an hour, an hour of <laughs> okay. airtime. Like then you yeah, go yeah. really fast up to up the list. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was Sentinels, and many of you obviously haven't heard that song before, so we yeah. hope you enjoyed it. Yeah. Um, the next one, song number three, is the centerpiece of the album, and <clears throat> it's it's got a bit of a special story behind it because it's twenty year old Green Carnation song. Mm. Um, the thinking behind in, in, uh, like introducing and including this on the album is like, like there are different reasons for it, but. But um, we've been saying that this album is kind of a tribute to Green Carnation's past, present and future. Mm. Uh, said in a very artistic way, of course. <laughs> but w what I meant with that was um, we wanted to make an album, uh, as, as I s talked about in the earlier, like, be like uh, before this song, uh, an album to knit together Green Carnation's career. Mm. Mm. And we have an album before we joined Stein and, and also uh, uh, Björn and yeah, yeah. Uh, because Chort uh, changed the entire lineup from the first to the second album. Um, and, uh, and we wanted maybe to, to build a bridge between the first album as well exactly. and the rest yeah. of our history. So and uh, that's uh, like uh, some of you know. I think uh, the, uh, my uh, dark reflection is kind of like mm, uh, the, the story, the pre-story to Light of Day, Day of Darkness. It is. So uh, Light of Day is a result of, uh, of, um, of reflections. Yeah. And also it was nice that we could go back with today's lineup and look at stuff from before mm. uh, we joined the band to see if we could manage to put our own DNA yeah, you know, yeah, in, yeah, into it. And um, because the first, uh, on the first version of first album, it's, there's no keyboards. So we had to figure out how we can put the keyboard parts in with today's uh, you know, technology and stuff like yeah, yeah. we wanted to do it. And, and also keep the spirit of the old uh, song. Um, but, you know, uh, and, and uh, certainly keep, you know, the we didn't want to change too much uh, of the uh, arrangements and instrumentations, but we have to kind of like make it Green Carnation now and yeah. also put our own DNA in it. And, and uh, it felt really good when we came into the studio and listened to the last mix. And, and uh, uh, because I, I think we did the song justice. Of course, there will be people who will say that uh, like the old one yeah, better and of stuff. course that's of course that's okay, uh, that, that's that's okay. Good, yeah. um, but we really really try to, to treat it with respect and also Tarje you know who wrote the song um, he liked the feel uh, that okay this is the new uh, kind of like era of of the song you know we're using the new stuff the new technology and the new uh, sounds and stuff like that but he thought that we kept you know true to the original in Hmm. Yeah, in some ways, you know. So yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And um, and uh, we've also been asked why is it only five songs on the album, and why is like um, a fifteen-minute uh, yeah. centerpiece of the album an old Green Carnation song? Yeah. <coughs> I was before before the Corona and everything. I was supposed to do this um, listening session with uh, um, music journalists down at the Prog uh, Prognosis Festival. Yeah in uh, Eindhoven where we played last year and there was going to be a Q&A and everything and and I, I planned to be a bit funny 
is that yeah. like we, we were searching for doing like a cover song and we couldn't find any good 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 enough cover song so we need to cover <laughs> ourselves from 2000 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah no no but um yeah um my dark reflections of life and death um we, we included that in our live set and and back to what i said a little bit earlier it it's like we decided to do that in order to be able to play something. Uh, we're not playing uh, Light of Day, Day of Darkness. We wanted to include songs from all of the other albums. And we yeah. have also made two new versions of uh, songs from acoustic verses yeah. uh, with non-acoustic versions of them. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We have Sweet only Leaf. played uh, yeah, Sweet yeah. Leaf and, and we're going to introduce yeah. another one on future live shows. Yeah. Uh, so then obviously we needed to make a live friendly version out of the original from 2000 yeah and it just felt so reincarnation yeah. 2018 when we Absolutely. took it into a live set so and and also with including that on the album we managed mm. to build a bridge between the entire like yeah. between 2000 and 2020 and it's important to say that uh, we knew that uh, uh my dark reflection was going to be on the album mm. and it's a long song you know and so we kind of had to build songs around it. Mm. Uh, and then we're going to come back to why there's only five songs uh, yeah. on, on uh, the album. Uh, there is a good reason, at least for me and <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, in the band. But uh, <coughs> let's just check out My Dark Reflections. My Dark first. Reflections of Life and Death. Uh, this is a world premiere. Uh, we hope you like it.
yeah, that was my dark reflections of life and death. Yeah. Um, we were speaking a little bit in like while listening to it um, about like one of the questions uh, we've had frequently in in interviews before before this album release is why is there only five songs on yeah, the album? Yeah, yeah. Obviously, it's forty almost forty five minutes, so it's it's not like people aren't complaining that there's uh, uh, <coughs> not enough music on it, but there's only three completely new songs yeah. and. And also this remade version, uh, yeah. 15 minutes or something, from, yeah. from an old album. Uh, I have uh, um, an idea um, uh, of how to answer that question. Yeah. Um, because already before we went to the studio, we had done <coughs> uh, one new song live uh, a couple of times, yep. which is not on the album. And mm. we had worked on two or three yeah, two, three, uh, another uh, new songs. But the the thing is that um, uh, as a concept, you know, not 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 necessarily a lyrically concept, but as a feel, mm. there is uh, maybe I'm uh, stepping into a pool of worms and shit. But <laughs> there is absolutely too many records out there which has too many songs. And I'm not saying that uh, it's uh, well, I'm saying that uh, if I have a, an album and I listen to it, and I usually listen to it from A to C, and many times I think that when I, this song shouldn't be on the album, the album would have been a better album hmm. if that song was out. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. but it's hard for as a songwriter because I am, and a lot of my babies die yeah. on the way into the studio. Most of them, and, I would guess. yeah, and out of the studio. Yeah. So uh, I know what I'm talking about, but um, when we listen to uh, Leaves of Yesteryear as a whole, mm. with all the pre-productions, demos and stuff like that, for me there was a thing that didn't add up. You know, it something it was it was too far-fetched uh, in psychedelica or in uh, lyrically a little bit unbalanced. Uh, it wasn't uh, in place, mm. everything, you know? Mm. And mm. when we put together the five songs that we hear on Leaves of Yesteryear, suddenly Every, everything, everything fell into place. Yeah. Fell into place. Yeah. And it's very difficult because uh, maybe it's just us as artists or songwriters, maybe it's just a fancy pants thing, you know? <laughs> yeah. But the thing is that uh, it has to feel right, you know? And this time, you know, we just took away stuff and then it came to place. Mm. And that's, I know it sounds strange, but no. that was the case in this place. Yeah, this, but, but uh, and also I, I was a bit surprised when I, when I saw this, uh, I did this interview with, um, uh, there was this American, uh, I think, I can't remember who it was, but it was a really nice interview. And I, I talked maybe even more freely on that interview than most of the interviews because the questions were different yeah. and from talking to the, the the writer for two and a half hours oh, actually yeah, yeah. which <laughs> it was really great um, but the headline on on the you know on the interview was that like we knew exactly what kind of album we wanted to make yeah yeah and I I'd said that yeah. uh, and I was like oh did I say that but it's true yeah it is true yeah and that's why they are there are five albums, uh, no, five songs on the album. Yeah, yeah. And that's also why Solitude, which is oh. uh, a cover song by Black Sabbath, which is yeah. gonna end off the album, is on the album because yeah. <coughs> we could have chosen to include um, a fourth new song. Yeah, five new songs. Or five new songs, yeah. but in order to do exactly what we wanted on this album, which exactly. we knew before yeah. we went into the studio, we needed these exact yeah. five songs. Like, yeah. it's a strange thing and it might sound a bit arty, as you said. Yeah, yeah. But it, that's important for us. Yeah, it is. And hopefully, um, if you take the time to listen to the album from, you know, the whole album, maybe you can make some sense out of it. Because, yeah, we can talk a little bit about that later. Mm. Lyrically, yeah. it's, all, it's, it's a big part of it. It is. And, and, uh, and um, finishing off with that song just made complete sense to us. Yeah. 
we're going to come to that. But before that, we're going to do something really, really cool. Yeah, yeah, because we've, we've been talking w w while you were listening to, to the songs about that. Okay, Leaves of Yesteryear, the first song, everybody, everybody's heard because it's been out uh, for uh, two months or something like, yeah, like that yeah. um, as a single and a music video. Great music video by Costin. Oh, man, <laughs> yeah. what a great guy. Yeah. <laughs> He's amazing. Yeah. And um, Sentinels, uh, which was a song number, which is song number two, uh, was actually premiered at Norwegian National Radio yesterday. Yeah. So that's not completely new. And also this, uh, um, my dark reflections of life and death. We have a like a edit, like a single version, which is like eight minutes, yeah. which is typical like Green Carnation releases edits yeah <laughs> eight minute edits of songs but uh anyway yeah. but this next one uh, none of you had her have heard no. um and it's a song called hounds which was the last song we actually made for yeah. the album yeah yeah and i think like you and me were working a lot on the structure of the song oh, yeah yeah a lot and i think it was uh, version number number 13 we yeah. took into the studio and we yeah. still changed it quite a lot yeah yeah, yeah we did and then this is, a, this is for me a, a real fun song to play because it's, in my ears, it's a bass song. Yeah. Yeah. And, and it's also the closest thing I can I've been saying with hands in my heart. It's a blues Yeah, you've been saying structure. that. Structure. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because, yeah. because it's, uh, if you, if you, if you pull an, an uh, E, A, B, chord structure yeah it's it's kind of like a blues uh, structure uh, of course it doesn't sound like a blues song but mm. for me it's like a little bit bluesy in it it's it's bass with fucking big balls because uh, andre Hirkesola, producer he just <laughs> went this mad scientist yeah on the amplifiers yeah. and just we just worked a lot on the bass because there was air enough you know, okay, take away the guitars on the verses and stuff like that. Just leave the bass pounding, and then we had so much fun doing it. And are you gonna are you gonna make a bass uh, playthrough video from Hounds? I'm gonna do that because uh, that's <laughs> my favorite song playing bass to right now. Is it? Is it? Yeah, great. So uh, I'm gonna make a bass. So uh, this is a world premiere for you guys yeah. and girls all around the world um, on this uh, super exclusive uh, listening party. We we are having a party right now. Yeah, Cheers. We are. Cheers. Cheers. Uh, so this uh, next song, uh, which is uh, song number four on uh, Leaves of Yesteryear, is called Hounds.
Okay. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. <coughs> yeah. Um, hounds. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed it. That was hounds. Uh, we we even during the Corona crisis, we we've been managing to rehearse a little bit because we are going to do this show that you know you know about on the twenty third of uh, of May, the uh, worldwide release party. Um, um, and it it's been it it is a big challenge when it comes to do I have something wrong, wrong with the sound or did, or did you just want to feel my feel my pockets? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> it's a big challenge. But it was uh, nice. Yeah. Uh, anyway, but uh, you might hear me better uh, in a little while. But yeah, we have actually managed to to do a little bit of rehearsals. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we we went into this big room. Uh, uh, in Kristiansand, and uh, that, and also tried out hounds for the very first time. Yeah, we did, we did. And it's going to sound good live. Yeah, yeah I think. it is. Yeah, it's absolutely a live song, and um, uh, playing it for the first time was really special because uh, because that was the only one we actually didn't do in the rehearsal room before going yeah. to the studio. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm. So it was just uh, and even even when we went to the studios. Uh, everybody didn't know the song 100%. It was just like yeah, a yeah. little bit of feel of yeah. how to make the uh, structure come along. True. And uh, mm. th that was really nice because obviously we have listened to the album now, so everybody knows the song in the head, yeah, so yeah. we knew what was, but actually there's challenges because when you go to the studio, you can actually do four guitars. Yeah. Five guitars, ten yeah. guitars. Yeah. So you have to really choose what you want to do yeah. in the live uh, version. And all the keyboards, it doesn't have four hands; you just have two. So yeah. true. It's easy to overproduce in the studio, but yeah. but to, to try to find a, <coughs> a live solution mm. that was really nice. Uh, we decided to do a little bit about lyrics because yeah. that's <coughs> basically like. There's a few questions in all interviews, and, yeah. and, and always there's yeah. uh, questions about lyrics. And, and being a singer, um, to sing other people's lyrics, <coughs> I've done that for many years. I've, I've written some lyrics myself, but not yeah. on this album. Yeah. Um, there's al always a question on how do you do that? And, and uh, I, I, yeah. uh, my, my answer is that I, I need to go into the lyrics and try to make them my own. Yeah. Uh, when, uh, like lyrics that you've written and Trot's written, who's the main lyricist in the yeah, band. Yeah. Uh, but I need to to kind of take them into my own life, uh, although I know what they're about. Yeah. And um, also what you want to say with the lyrics, because yeah. all the three new songs on this album are your lyrics. Yeah. And, and yeah, and uh, of course, uh, uh, I've been pretty open about uh, a family situation that we have been living <coughs> in um, the last uh, three years. It's uh, my my wife's got a, a she's got a brain cancer uh, and she's got a, a, a nasty tumor uh, in her head mm -hmm. and um, they did uh, operate most of it, but they can't take it out because she's going to lose her language if they do, and she's also going to not understand what people are saying to her if they remove it because it's in the speech area yeah. uh, of the head so the 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 only thing we know that is that she's not gonna be grow old you know mm. uh, and um you know with with kids and stuff like that and the the uh, fear of becoming a single parent, you know, raising up kids, you know, mm. uh, all that stuff came to to a point where I, I, I really felt that I need to start writing about my, my inner thoughts. And um, Hounds is a, is a very good example of that, you know, when uh, everything is here but a cure. Mm. Uh, we just try to make the best out of it. And uh, that's how we've been living for the last three years after her operation. Mm. Um, <coughs> there is not 
they can't do anything now. Now she, she's more healthy now than she was five years ago when the tumor was big. Yeah. But there's a, a very there's uncertainties all over the place. So we yeah. just uh, we just have to live one day. Or she take MRs every three months. Hmm. So we just have to live one day each of the time and just. Uh, so this came about uh, in uh, in uh, leaves of yesteryear and also that was also a part of why the there's five songs on the album and yeah, not of course eight um, and, weir and weirdly like the the two like uh, my dark reflections of life and death yeah, yeah. is is uh, discussing some of the same things yeah. and not least solitude that that is the last song yeah, on the yeah, album of course of course um, uh, but, but when 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 i've been asked about the lyrical themes of, yeah. of, of the album I'm, I'm saying like and also uh sentinels it's about uh having uh alien or outside yeah. things come in to to uh to take control over your life exactly which can be uh, physical, yeah. uh, military, and or right now, like we have the Corona situation. We have a virus <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. actually been taken over. Yeah, and uh, we live in that situation like, right now. Uh, it's it's uh, almost uh, yeah. The forces outside takes command over yeah. your life. Right. Yeah, which and could you, also relate to 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 a disease. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And uh, and uh, this was. Um, this was strange when uh, we had the final mix and uh, had a session a couple of weeks ago, a couple of months ago when the, when the corona started. And yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we said, you know, this lyrically, it's like, it should be written right now. It's commenting this situation. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, I yeah. remember doing an interview and, and when talking about the lyrics, I, I kind of realized that, oh, oh it's about... <laughs> the it's about right now. right now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it could be. Yeah, <coughs> um, uh, but anyway, it's it's uh, it was nice to to let it out there because it is what it is. Um, hopefully, I'm gonna have her around many more years. Mm. Who knows? But uh, you know, um, that's what it is, and I wanted to write about that. Yeah, uh, sure. so it's, it's that's understandable. Uh, yeah, um, we decided also to to um, talk a little bit about because this is the last. Uh, like we're going to end, end this show show by, yeah. by playing the last song and then it's going to be finished so we need to say everything that we want to say now yeah uh, and uh, obviously with it being um, uh, our first album for many years um, we need to mention some people yeah we do we do and we decided to it, it's it's we decided to work with people that we know from before and that was not a defensive um, thing it's it's like again when saying that we wanted this this album to be the best uh, of you know Green Carnation's history in a new wrapping. Uh, it was important for us to work with people that knew what we want, exactly. uh, that knew our identity. Mm -hmm. And first and foremost, maybe we should talk a little bit about Andre Kirkisula, who's the producer yeah. of the album. Uh, he was also the producer of Light of Day, Day of Darkness. Yeah. And he was also the keyboard player when we came back in 2016 to do yeah. the Lights of the Day of Darkness shows. It's like... I, I don't think there is uh, another producer out there who knows Green Carnation better. No. And it was um, a little bit about, like we talked on uh, earlier, past, present, future. Mm. You know, Andre has been doing some fantastic albums. Uh, yeah. uh, he's a really great producer, but he also knows us. He knows us. Uh, we, I've known him for I don't know, yeah, twenty years, yeah, thirty years. Mm. Um, <laughs> Getting old, yeah. <laughs> uh, and uh, and I uh, and I, uh, I knew this was the right thing to do right now. Coming up, fourteen years later, with an album, bringing him back. Yeah, not he's least. been really active. You know, yeah, there's yeah. there's not like he's been standing still. He's he's a wizard, a genius. You know. He know all the frequencies that's <laughs> oh, <he> does, <laughs> <indeed>. worth <laughs> yeah. to know. Yeah. Uh, and uh, he's also a great musician and a great ear and yeah. beautiful guy. So And also a, also when uh, Andre Kirkusola in Dub Studios and Christian Sand, he, he'd been working with like the last big album he did before us was the new Abbott album. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he'd been working, I think, for the first time maybe with uh, Maur Applebaum. Yeah, uh, the guy who has who ended up um, 
uh, mastering the album and it worked out so well with uh, the Abbott album and I've been in contact with Mao Applebaum for, for years and years. Yeah. Um, what a great guy. Yeah. I mean, uh, <laughs> all is. the effort he put in it. You know, first and foremost, you know, he's a guy who's been mastering uh, Faith No More and Yes and stuff like that. But, you know, he gave us seven, seven fucking different masters because we were not certain of yeah. the small stuff. The, the actual master that we went for in the end is the seventh one. Yeah. It just, just shows me the lengths he is willing to go to make, you know, us because everybody, all the mixes sound great, of, oh, course, yeah, of course, but uh, he was just uh, mm. willing to go the, the mile, the extra yeah. mile. So, so that was Thank a nice, you, that was a really nice thing. And also, we, I think we should mention uh, Niklas Sundin, who has made a cover. Oh my God. Because today you guys have seen different versions of our cover uh, yeah. on our, um, you know, live broadcast. Yeah. Um, and uh, Niklas, obviously, uh, he used to be the, well, he actually quit now. But he's been like for 20 years like the uh, the guitar player of uh, Dark Tr Tranquility, yeah. uh, the Swedish band. And uh, he's been in the Green Carnation family kind of since 2001 because he made the Light of Day, Day of Darkness cover. Yeah. He made several of our covers. And yeah. and again, it was it was a little bit like important for us that we needed to work with people that knew the band, mm. knew our history, our identity, <laughs> in order to be able to, to to make these five songs exactly what we wanted, yeah, yeah. and uh, the blue, the blue cover that is, uh, we actually he gave us uh, five I think versions yeah, of yeah, the cover. He did, he did. So I think you've seen all five versions during this uh, broadcast if you've been yeah. like uh, following it very closely. Um, but uh, I remember sending all the songs or the demos because Niklas came in like really early in the process. Yeah. We sent him all the demos, uh, all the lyrics and say, can you kind of, w with his talents, obviously, yeah. which we, we know is amazing, yeah. uh, can you sum all this up in one picture? Yeah. And he came up with a few ideas and we went for this, the head. Yeah. Uh, and I'm really happy about it because yeah. for, me, for me, everything in the album is in the cover. Yeah, it is, it is. <coughs> and I, I think that's, uh, you know, one of the things with owning a, a vinyl mm. like we did in the, Back in the days, and are, are st still beginning to do it. Yeah, again, again yeah. you can actually see in the cover, uh, in the in the brain there. Okay, there's stuff in the lyrics here and going on and yeah. stuff like that. You know, we're old school. Maybe we are. Uh, and it's not like it's um, it's like you cannot see hounds of existence, but no, you can no, see no. the atmosphere of yeah, hounds yeah, of, of course, existence of course, in there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, um, but and also Nicola um, um, Kostin. Kostin. Kostin Shirano, yeah. who did the music video, and this is also funny, like funny story because uh, Kostin has said to me that Niklas, when Kostin was young, like Niklas is like uh, maybe ten years or twelve years older than Kostin. Okay. Uh, Niklas was Kostin's biggest inspiration. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so he's so inspired by, yeah. and 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 the reason why we chose Kostin to do the Leaves of Yesteryear music video w w was partly because. He would understand what Nicholas wanted to say. With this is very arty, but yeah. but Kostin would understand what Nicholas was trying to say with a cover, and he could make his version of that and uh, the yeah. song. Yeah. Uh, and I remember us seeing the video for the first time. Yeah, yeah. In a bar in Kristiansand. I st still feel the shivers in my neck, you know, because it was so beautifully done. And yeah. Yeah. It was so spot on. It was like the quality of uh, old European animation, you know, yeah. like I grew up from the 70s. It was just like, they always did it better in Eastern Europe when yeah. it came to animation. Yeah, Kostin is an amazing talent yeah. and we're so happy to have him, him on board as well. Yeah. And um, on the live stream, um, for you guys who, who, watch, who watch this, um, you're gonna have a, a world premiere on the live stream as well because what we're trying to do is to, to, to give you guys who actually pay five euros or something to, to um, we're trying to give you guys um, a very special uh, evening with yeah. lots of content that the rest of the world is never gonna see. Um, well, you're gonna see it first anyway. 
So uh, that's going to be included on, on the live stream is, yeah. is the world premiere of the Sentinels uh, lyric video, but it's going to have a really strong Kosten uh, vibe to it. Ah, right. yes. Right. So, yeah, uh, did we remember? We, we have to talk a little bit about uh, Solitude. Uh, yeah, we do. We why, do. Why, did we, yeah. why did we include this on the album? And, and Solitude also mm -hmm. has been in the Green Carnation world for a few years yeah, because of that like acoustic uh, in yeah. the studio exactly. project. Yeah, yeah. We, did, we did. It's um, one of my absolute favorite songs. It's always been, you know, as long as I can remember. A two chord song, actually, yeah. from Black Sabbath. Yeah, that's crazy. From the... Um, Master of Reality album, mm -hmm. uh, early 70s. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, when I started painting uh, many years ago, I listened to that song, I mean, maybe a hundred times a day when oh, I oh, painted, really? because yeah. it's, it was just everything fell in place when I worked. Yeah. And uh, the lyric uh, in, in the song and everything that I felt writing, uh, you know, the new stuff, was just there. It's we same. had a history. Yeah. It's just like, how can you not land and end the album with this song? It was mm. just, it had to be. And luckily, everybody was. Yeah, yeah. Totally and, 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 and we had it in the Green Carnation, you know, um, uh, sphere mm. since I think 2016, because yeah, we were yeah. playing with the idea of doing this uh, live in the studio YouTube thing, like yeah. acoustically. Yeah. And that was one of the first songs we actually worked with. Yeah. Uh, and then I remember when, like, realizing that, like, oh, this song needs to be on the album because uh. lyrically and also musically, it's perfect. Yeah, it is. And I was so happy when we figured out that. Yeah. Um, also, I, again, this is a, a little bit strange. It's almost just keyboards, vocals, and some percussion. Yeah. A little bit of bass in the background, but yeah. it's real quiet. It, it is a quite song originally, but this is just um, taking the old Moog's Russian synthesizers that Andre has uh, tons of, <laughs> and just yeah. playing around, you know, and yeah, uh, yeah making great. Yeah, it was really nice. And we need before we because well, now we we have been talking for a while, and I'm sure I hope that's okay. <laughs> But I'm, I'm, uh, I'm sure you guys want to listen to the last song of the album as well. Um, I just want to mention something that if you want to listen to the album again before it's released, the Season of Mist, our record label is going gonna, is gonna, to um, organize a premiere uh, listening session online tomorrow at 4 o'clock uh, Norwegian time. And I don't know when it is at your place, but, uh, but 4 o'clock Norwegian time. Yeah. And the band is going to be there to answer, answer questions and stuff. Uh, but I did get one, an, uh, one question uh, okay. on uh, yeah. what about the other songs that didn't make the album? What's going to yeah. happen with yeah. them? Okay, that's a, that's, a, that's a really good question because these songs that didn't make the album is not songs that we're going to throw away. No. We have a big plan for the songs. So we are, um, we are, uh, th they are on the desk. They're not on the, in the drawer. They're on the desk. And uh, we are we, that that pile is pretty big, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So and also me and uh, me and you have has made a new song yeah, during the Corona period, which is uh, quite nice. Yeah, it is. It is. It's, it's a long one again. Yeah. And, uh, hopefully that will be see the light of day pretty soon. <laughs> yeah. So we don't know <laughs> exactly what to do with it. No, but, no. But I think that we have a song that like could yeah. could um, that could have been on this album. Of actually. course, of course, yeah. of course, yeah. So let's just but see. Uh, but so, uh, yeah. Winston, yeah, we answered your question. I Hopefully, hope you, I yeah. hope you're okay. And uh, Winston is a guy who is coming to <coughs> to Norway to our release show in, uh, no, to our uh, our anniversary show in, in October yeah, uh, from the US. Fantastic. So that's a pleasure yeah. to to answer your question. Yeah. Okay. I hope you've had a good time. We've been oh, we've been going on for almost. Well, this is gonna <coughs> be one and a half hours. Yeah. Okay. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, we really want to thank uh, Richard Abodei in Glasbua Studios for 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 uh, being as always amazing. Yeah. Uh, we were. These uh, are the guys behind the Day of Darkness. Uh, the last Day of Darkness, yeah. yeah. And and uh, and there was a bit of a crisis because some stuff started to to load some new program uh one yeah. minute before we started so that's why we were two or three minutes late yeah. but after that it's been 
Great. Yeah. So, Rikal, uh, thank you very much in there. Uh, and now we're going to... This is another world premiere because nobody else has heard, nope. have heard this song. So, we want to thank you for watching. Uh, we might uh, put this out on our YouTube YouTube channel when the album is out on Friday, like after after the album is out, and uh, and uh, tune in on Season of Mist tomorrow if you want to listen to the entire album without needing to hear us <laughs> talk in between <laughs> the songs. <laughs> yeah. And so we have five minutes left from yeah. this uh, broadcast, and uh, thank you very much for tuning yeah. in, everybody. Stenrogor, uh, Hjertil. Thank you so much. Cheers, and I hope to see you guys live uh, someday. Yeah. Cheers. Just laughed when I begged you to stay